Hi everyone, welcome to New Egg TV. My name is Paul. Today I'm going to be doing an overview of this Rosewill 4-Bay RAID storage system. So here's a closer look at the box. The model number we're looking at here is the RSV S4X. And uh, this will primarily accept 3.5 inch hard drives. Uh, it is composed of an external enclosure as well as an included uh, a PCI Express RAID controller card. Uh, it supports drives of up to 2 terabytes in capacity for a total of 8 terabytes total. Supports RAID 0, 1, 10, 5, 5 plus spare, spanning as well as JBOD, which is just a bunch of disks. Uh, you also get bundled software to help you set up those RAIDs, or you can also use the Windows 7 uh, to set up a software RAID. Compatible with Windows 2000 XP Vista and Windows Server 2003, also Windows 7 of course. Uh, you get 300 megabytes per second eSATA 2 interface, four 3.5 inch SATA 1 or SATA 2 hot swappable bays, and a 3.15 inch or 80 millimeter ball bearing cooling fan. So here's a look at all the accessories that come with the storage system. Of course you get the enclosure itself. You also get this quick installation guide for the RSV S4X. That will sort of take you through the installation process for the hardware and installing uh, actual hard drives into the system as well as getting you set up with the software. Apart from that, we also have an included driver disk so that will have the uh, basic software you need to set up the RAID. You can also use um, your operating system's RAID setup uh, for software RAID configurations if that is available. Uh, and this also has the driver on it for this, which is an included serial ATA controller card. So uh, it's a SATA controller card. This is a silicon image. Wait, I remember what this is. This is the 3132 uh, silicon image uh, serial ATA controller. It's uh, SATA Rev 2 compatible. That's 3 gigabit per second. PCI Express X1 plug right there. And on the back it gives you two uh, eSATA ports. So you can plug that into one of the PCI Express ports available on your computer. Oop, they also give you this low profile bracket. So if you're running a low profile uh, computer system at home with a computer case, you should be able to pop that bracket on and have compatibility. You also get these eight thumb screws and that's used to actually mount drives into the enclosure. You also get a power cable and you get an eSATA cable which you can route from your SATA controller card once it's installed in your computer over to the external enclosure. And here's a look at the enclosure itself. As you can see on the front here, you have some uh, activity lights. You also have a, well, you have a power light right there as well as a host light. You also get one, two, three, and four there, and that's going to correlate with the four drive bays that you can have installed. Speaking of those, they are behind this door right there. So as you can see, this uses a pretty basic rail mount system. So you just uh, slide the drive back into the uh, bay. It should, uh, if it's sitting on, on these rails that are uh, arrayed throughout, it should slot right back into that serial ATA power and data plug there at the back, as you can see on the PCB there. And uh, in just a moment, I'll pop this open to give you guys a look at the interior. Uh, here from the side, you can see there's some ventilation on either side, provide a little bit more airflow in towards the drives. Finally here at the back, uh, the housing is mounted with thumb screws, so it'll let you get into the uh, housing a little bit more easily if you need to secure the drives. You also get the 80 millimeter fan. Uh, you also get the power supply plug, of course, as well as the on-off switch, and there is your eSATA port. After removing the thumb screws, the housing pops right off, and here's sort of a look at the interior. Uh, there's kind of look from the top down at the drive base. You also have this back plane right here, and that is a silicon image 3726, uh, which is your actual serial ATA port multiplier that all of the drives plug into. Also down here at the bottom is your power supply, and then uh, of course at the back your 80 millimeter exhaust fan. Now I'm just going to do a quick demonstration here with our new egg hard drive to show you guys how this works. You simply slide it in the front into one of the drive bays, the open ones of course. Line it up with the rail, it's going to pop back and actually seat in the serial ATA port there at the back. And then once that is in place, you can use the included thumb screws and you can secure the drive using the drive's mounting holes from the side. Just like that. And one bolt on each side should give you security for the drive so it won't slide around or pop out of the serial ATA bracket. 
And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the Rosewell RSB S4X 4-bay RAID storage enclosure, as well as the included serial ATA controller card. I'm Paul with Newegg TV. If you enjoyed today's video, you, you can head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.